Hi, my name is Andrea Hewlin. I'm an artist here in Cairns, Far North Queensland, and today I'd like to show you how I mix colours for a portrait, and then I'd like to show you how I apply those uh, in just a quick portrait study that I'm going to do. I'm going to use uh, just one of these boards, which is a little bit of 3ml MDF that's been coated in gesso. Uh, I'm going to use some of this um, oil painting medium, which is an archival brand odorless uh, classic. So uh, what I'm going to do is pre-mix my colours first on my palette that are going to give me um, a bit of logic as I kind of build my portrait. So I'm not going to get kind of confused by all these different skin tones and what do I do now? Do I add a bit of blue? Do I add a bit of purple? What do I do? So if I start with a bit of a basic plan of say six kind of um, shades or six um, tones, not just tones but also hues, then I can kind of build my portrait with a little bit of logic and then I can kind of tweak and add and subtract from there. So that way it kind of makes sense to me too anyway, so um, hopefully it will um, be interesting for you as well. My subject is going to be my son Richard. Um, I don't know about you, but I just cannot get family members to sit for me. Um, they're just, I think they're either too sick of being in my paintings or they just, you know, I can't persuade them, even if I try and pay them. So this is the image that I'm going to do. Uh, it's just off a photo and uh, that way I don't have to twist anyone's arm. So uh, that's what I'm going to, I'm going to mix up some colours for that painting, that image. Uh, so I'll need basically pinkish, um, light coloured, you know, skin tones for a light coloured face. So uh, I'm going to start by putting out my colours. So the same kind of colours that I would normally use for just about, well, for most of my paintings, really. tin like this for my medium. Uh, my glasses on, that might help. You need a palette knife like this for mixing our colours on our palette first. So you can see I'm just using a Perspex uh, palette here with a piece of white paper underneath so I can see what I'm doing. Here's my picture of my boy. Okay, so what I'm going to do to start is make up what I kind of have, use as a sort of a master mix. So for this picture I'm going to make my master mix that I'm going to kind of create different shades with from uh, yellow ochre and light red or a sort of a scarlet tomato-y kind of red. So I'm not quite sure if that's right yet but when I move and add white to it on this side and some other cooler colours on this side I'll be able to see what I've got. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, kind of create three different tones of three different versions of a skin colour over this side and three on this side. And that'll um, help me to kind of create those lights and darks on Richard's face. So first I'm just gonna add some white here to create a sort of a mid, nice bright mid. So I'm not adding any blues or browns or anything at this stage. means my master mix needs a bit more yellow ochre too so I might just add some of that in there. Okay so then from here I'm just going to grab a bit of that put it over here and add more white to it and then I end up with a lighter version of that shade and then maybe even one more over here is really quite a lot of white so it's the lightest the lightest shade I'll use it's quite pink so I think I might just add a little bit of this Naples yellow to it I can always adjust it once I go but what I'm doing is just giving myself a bit of a starting point giving myself some colors to go to in those in initial stages of the painting Okay, so these are going to be on the sides of um, Richard's face that are in the light. They're going to be the ones that I want the face to be nice and bright. The areas of the face that are catching the, the light through the window. So 
So on this side, I want this to be the shadowy areas of the face. So again, I'm going to take some of my master color. This time I'm going to add a little bit of, let's say raw umber to it. And that'll cool it down because raw umber's got greenish tones to it and green and red are complements, of course. So raw umber will help take the red out of out of this color, make it a little bit less. So it won't look quite so sort of sunburnt. Um, so that is getting getting there. I might actually add a little bit of the cerulean blue to it as well, which will just knock a bit more of the the orange out of it, because orange and blue are complementary colours. Okay, so um, now I've done that, that should provide me with the nice dark shadowy areas of Richard's face. Um, if I need to make darker parts, I can always add more raw umber or blue to those as I come to it. But now I'm going to make some lighter versions of this too um, for the areas of his face that are in shadow. Also that sort of beardy area, which I might have to address separately, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay, so a little bit more white over here. Uh, some more of that. I, I could have just used this version and added more white to it, but I didn't quite make enough, so I'm just going to do it again. So now I've got sort of more a uh, cool, cool sort of version of this mid-tone over here. You can sort of see. I might not lead a very light version of that, but I'll, I'll make one over here just in case. So I think I've got, I, I keep this section in the middle for mixing. Um, I always have some rags to wipe that area off. So now I'm pretty much ready to go. Just using my raw umber now just to draw it, draw this drawing in. A bit of medium, so it's really quite, quite light. Um, maybe just a little bit of that just to warm it up a touch. Okay. So drawing in with a filbert brush, about a size four, I think, and just that mixture of raw umber and medium. Now I'm using just pure raw umber just to put in those darks where the main features are, the eyes, the nostrils, the line between the lips and uh, the face shape. I'm just building in some tone for the hair as well, just so I can judge the tones on the face. Now I'm using that dark cool mix that I made on my palette with the raw umber and my master mix and some blue and raw umber. Um, just altering it slightly, warming it up, cooling it down here and there. So with the neck, I gen generally add a little bit more blue just to send it into sort of a mauve territory so that the neck recedes a bit in space and the face comes forward, it's a little bit warmer. So now I'm using that mid that I made, or those mids, um, the cooler side to start with. And now I'm going to be going into those warm tones that I made on the left hand side there, those more pinkish, Naples yellow kinds of shades for the parts of the face that are sort of coming forward or catching the light. For the lips, I'm going to use my uh, mid, warm mid, but I'm going to add a little bit of alizarin crimson just to make it more of a mauvey kind of pink uh, to differentiate it from the other pinks in the face. Quite good to use sort of a mauvey mix for that lower eyelid as well. Just blocking in the black, the brown hair now, but I've gone a little bit too hard now, so I'm just wiping it off and uh, I've ended up with some quite a nice, a nice sort of a honey colour for those highlights, so I'm going to leave that. I made that greenish grey with just the uh, orange I had on my palette, that master colour with some blue and lots of white and it created that sort of greyish green. So a bit of sparkle in the eyes and just warming up those lips and the study is done. So thanks very much for watching and um, feel free to message me with any comments or questions.